Alright, so this is going to be a quick overview of the new Micro H Quad. Now, this is a very tiny 200 millimeter quadcopter, but it's made to support the Arty Pilot Mega, um, as well as FPV equipment, GPS antenna, and all of your electronics. So, it's more than capable of uh, running autopilot routines and flying FPV. Now the frame that everything is mounted to here is 3D printed using ABS plastic. It's extremely rigid and it's all printed in one piece. So that way there's no joints um, that would cause potential failure. And it takes advantage of this axial structure so that if you do crash, um, it'll distribute the load through it almost like the spoke of a wheel. And it'll prevent you from breaking off arms or any other parts. So it's very durable. Now, the uh, motors that I'm using here are the Tiger motors, or the T motors. These are the 3100 uh, KV motors with 5030 props. And these speed controllers are 6 amp Tiger ESCs. They operate at 400 hertz. Now, you'll also see that there's hole spacing on the bottom here for 15.5mm uh, holes and 12 millimeter, 12 millimeter hole spacing. So these will work with the Tiger motors and they'll also work with some of the less expensive Hobby King motors such as the Turning G1811 2900 KV motors. Um, the speed controllers I have mounted with a single small piece of double sided foam tape and a zip tie wrapped around that. Now the camera I'm using for FPV is a micro um, 5 volt camera. It's 520 TV lines and it has a very high light sensitivity. Um, it'll work pretty well at night in dimly lit conditions. Shouldn't have any problems flying FPV. It's very lightweight, probably no more than a gram. And the frame is designed with two slots here so that it can be easily secured to the bottom with a zip tie. Now, this entire system is powered by a 1000 milliamp hour. Uh, Turnigy Nanotech battery. It's a 25C discharge and you'll get about eight and a half minutes of flight time. Now the flight controller, this is the RC Timer Artuflyer, which is the essentially the same thing as the Artupilot Mega 2.5. Now the flight controller mounts right there in the center of the frame and above the flight controller I have mounted the FR Sky 4 channel micro receiver. Now, this receiver has dual antennas for antenna diversity, so you always get a nice clean signal at uh, different orientations. And um, it is capable of doing CPPM, so you'll see here I only have one cable running from the receiver to the flight controller. Uh, when that feature is enabled, it'll also output RSSI from the additional channel and there's an analog telemetry port and digital telemetry port so you can feed back information to your transmitter. So with this flight controller it also has a GPS module and that GPS module is mounted right on the top so there's nice good reception. Underneath that you'll see the 5.8 GHz 200 milliwatt video transmitter and this frame is designed so that all these components will fit perfectly within this cage here and then the GPS antenna sits right on top. Um, it's very light. It's less than 300 grams. This frame with all the electronics on it is 275 grams. And it'll fit all of that equipment without a problem. With these 3100 kV motors and the uh, 5030 props, it produces almost 800 grams of thrust. So it has plenty of power It'll take off at between 30 and 40 percent throttle, and uh, you'll have no problem climbing out of uh, fast descents, anything like that. Now, in the back here is a telemetry module that works with the flight controller, and this will send telemetry data back to your computer. And with that, you can measure battery voltage, tune any of the parameters, you can program waypoints, uh, view all the sensor data, pretty much anything. Um, 
It's very versatile and you can even use it to fly the aircraft from a joystick at your computer, which is definitely a cool feature. Now the way I have this wired is I have a signal cable coming from each of the speed controllers as opposed to all three of the cables. Uh, this reduces the weight, simplifies things a bit, and uh, cuts down a lot of the wires. So on the first two ESCs I only have a signal cable, and on the back I've got a signal cable coming from the back right ESC, and then I also have ground and power coming from the back left ESC, which goes into the motor outputs on the RD flyer. And what that'll do is it'll make sure everything has power. Uh, the RD flyer will then from there power the uh, receiver. And the video transmitter here is being powered directly from the battery. So I have an additional lead wired on here that comes directly from the battery. And that's a two cell battery. Uh, you'll see this extra signal cable here is also coming from the power distribution. Um, that's actually coming from a voltage divider that's wired on the power distribution so that you can have battery voltage data being sent back to the uh, computer over telemetry. Uh, the frame has a hole on either side to be able to pull through the antennas for the receiver. And the coax cables on these receiver antennas are pretty good. They're quite rigid but they're still flexible. Um, so they'll stand up just fine and there's no need to worry about them getting caught up in the props. On the video transmitter, I have a 5.8 gigahertz circular polarized antenna. And then of course this dipole on the back is for the telemetry. And I think that's just about it. This frame is available from my website in various different colors. I also have it in a 45 millimeter hole spacing configuration which will support the KK2, uh, the Creus, any of the standard 45 millimeter hole spacing flight controllers. And that also has a port for the camera in the front and supports all of the same electronics. Alright, well thanks for watching. I'll include a link in the description for the frame on my website. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me.